Welcome to Prescott Origami Fanatics, Prof. In this video, we're going to fold the traditional cicada. The cicada is a bug or insect. And this model is a traditional model. It's been folded for many, many, many years, and we don't know who folded it first, probably several hundred years ago. For this model, it's best to use a square of paper that has color on one side and white or another color on the other side because the model we're going to fold shows both sides of the model or both sides of the paper when we're finished. So I'm using a six inch square and I'm going to start with the white side face up and I'm going to start with a diagonal fold which is made by bringing two opposite corners together. Align the corners, run your finger down, make a pinch, check the alignment, crease across the bottom. So now you have a big triangle. It's a right triangle. That means it has a 90 degree corner up here. We're going to fold the triangle in half side to side. We're going to bring this point over to this point. Not perfect, but good enough. Now, open the paper back up and turn the paper over so that the mountain fold is on top. The valley fold is underneath. Now we're going to bring the points up to the 90 degree corner. Let's do the one on the right first. This edge is going to come to the center. As usual, just a hair's width of wiggle room there. Do it on both sides. These edges don't have to actually touch, but they should be quite close. And now rotate the model so that the loose points are at, at the bottom or pointing toward you. And now we're going to bring the loose points up toward the point up here, but we're going to swivel the loose point out. And I want the crease to start at this corner, but it will angle up so that the point swivels out. So let's start the crease or the fold by making a pinch at this corner. So it starts there. Bring it up to the top and then swivel it out. So that the fold actually angles up a little. That would have been the middle right there. Now do the other side the same way. They should match. Again, I'm going to start out here at the outer corner, make a pinch, and then swivel the paper until the center points line up. Now down here, we have two layers. You're going to lift up the top layer. The point should be on the center line here, but you're not going to pull it all the way up. That's, that's about as far as it goes, but you're not going to pull it all the way up there. You're going to leave this edge a little below this edge. So the point is on the center line and you left a fairly healthy space between that edge and the new crease. So it should look like that. And there's the space that she left, the gap. 
Now pick up the other layer, the bottom layer, and bring it up. And again, keeping the point on the center line, you're not going to pull it all the way up as far as it goes. Again, you're going to leave a gap there. And that's what creates the colorful band that makes the cicada very distinctive looking. Rotate the model. These will be the wings, the tail, and the head area. Turn the model over. And we're going to fold the sides in. I'll start on the right. We're going to fold the sides in so that this short straight edge here will align with the center. Like so. It doesn't have to actually touch the center. In fact, you can change the look of the cicada by folding or, or leaving this edge further out, like you could have it as far as out here, or you could have it come all the way in and touch the center. If it's closer to the center, the cicada will be a little skinnier looking. This is half of it. If you have it folded further out, more like that, then the cicada will be wider looking. So depending on how you want it to look. Just telling you that for your information. This is the way it's usually taught, with the edges coming together in the center or very close. Turn the model over. Sometimes you will see the cicada shown in such a way that this is the finished cicada. But the cicada has large eyes, so it really helps to give the feeling of that insect by making an eye, making eyes on it. And this is the way it's usually done. Just fold the corners over and then crease them well so they lay sort of flat. And there's the cicada with eyes. And you're finished. Voila.